Hello, lovely people of the internet. My name is Ian. Um, thank you for watching this video. I'm recording it now. I would normally have a wonderful cooking video up for you. However, uh, halfway through the recording of the mole loaf, my recording computer decided to die on me and I only got half of the footage that I wanted so I couldn't really edit. So what I decided to do for the video for today is kind of, I did it like a PowerPoint presentation. I wanted to go over some things about the channel. Um, some of this might seem a little cart before the horse because I'm gonna be talking as if this isn't the second YouTube video on a brand new channel, but I think it's important to start this series of videos, uh, get this information out there, and then talk about some of the stuff, some of what we have planned what I want to be doing. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the first of hopefully many sword and spatula pre-shift meetings. So this channel is uh, the sword and spatula. It is a, um, a fake tavern where we cook food from video games. Um, that's not all we do, but that is the core function of this channel. It's uh, cooking, it's video games, it's a combination of the two. Um, in the cooking world, I, I've worked in a number of kitchens over a number of years. I'm not a formally trained chef or anything. I just uh, have a real passion for cooking. Uh, I have a real passion for video games. A lot of video games have food in them. It just made sense. Um, but in the cooking world, in a kitchen, uh, a lot of times you're going to have these pre-shift meetings and it's just kind of a huddle for the back of the house. You get together, you talk about the specials, you talk about, you know, inventory, things like that. Just sort of a, a state of the union, if you will, of the restaurant. So I decided to call these sort of channel update videos pre-shift meetings because we're restaurant themed. So it makes sense. So jumping in. You see the first uh, slide here, Sword and Spatula, channel updates, news plans, rants, and rambles. I'm going to be doing one of these once a month, maybe? Once every two or three months, something like that? Anyway, this is the one for August. So first off, I am going to go over some expectations with this video. Uh, I did the PowerPoint for these pre-shift meetings because I think that the structure will allow for me to stay kind of on topic and keep things moving, a natural discussion, uh, while still keeping enough structure to keep me from just going on and on and on. Plus, I really like PowerPoints. Um, I'm trying this format out. We'll see how it goes. I sort of went through it today because uh, I realized the footage wasn't going to be enough to put a video out, so I just sort of slapped this together going forward. You know, they'll be more cohesive. I think it'll be A plus neat. So here's the big plan with this whole situation. And again, this is, we're talking a year, two years out. Um, we're starting with the content creation. That's where we're at here. Uh, producing meaningful content using the four pillars, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. Uh, from there, I want to be able to consistently produce quality food. Uh, and I'm hoping that as the content grows and the community grows and, you know, way down the line, I can start a food truck. That's been a passion of mine for a long time. Uh, feeding people is one of my greatest joys in life because I think it's uh, it's a way to entertain. It, uh, everybody loves eating. You get to be creative. It's high stress, which I love. So I uh, would really like to start a food truck. I have these grayed out because obviously we are nowhere near these steps yet. But um, also a, a big thing that I wanted to do that I've seen in a couple instances, but not really in the way that I kind of have it envisioned is I want to have that food truck experience live streamed as well. So the, the truck itself, I was cooking the food, people coming up, you know, you get to see your order on this, on the screens outside it. I have a whole plan for that, but that's way down the line. And then that will lead into, uh, some charity work also that'll be done. And, you know, as we go on, um, I think a big part of the content creation side of things for me, is to be a creator that I would want to watch, be part of a community that I would want to be in. Um, and I think a lot of my own privilege needs to be used to help those who don't have as many privileges as I do. Um, and fighting hunger, I don't know if that's, you know, how you would phrase it, but fighting hunger 
is a, a big one for me. I would like to do everything in my power to make sure nobody has to go hungry. Uh, and not only do they not have to go hungry, but they can eat really good food, if at all possible. So um, this is sort of the the content creation side of things. It's just sort of the entryway into getting out there, um, getting us known so that we can move on to bigger and better things. Uh, I was talking about content creation based on the pillars. I have four big pillars that I decided were like the core foundation for any content that I make. Um, the first one is going to be kindness. Will this content help somebody? Um, whether it's, you know, uh, I taught you how to make fondant potatoes or fondant potatoes, or I played video games and it made you laugh and it chewed you up on a day, or I talked about something uh, content creation wise that helped you with your content creation, or I talked about something life wise that helped you get through something in your life. Just, um, it starts with kindness. If you can be anything, be kind. And so that's the foundation, the big, uh, moving on sustainability. Is this content able to be produced on a reasonable schedule? Uh, burnout is a big deal. I realize these videos are going to be coming out for a year, year and a half before anybody sees them for longer than 30 seconds at a time. So being able to produce them on a schedule, um, being able to be consistent, while maintaining quality and a growth pattern, that's important to me as well. Um, the third pillar is gonna be community. Will this content bring people together? Um, if you're being kind, if you're being reliable, then yes, I believe it will bring together the kind of people. Uh, I said I wanna be the kind of content creator that I would wanna watch, be in the kind of community, or foster the kind of community I would wanna be in. So. Um, and then finally, growth. Does this content content facilitate growth? It's a lot of words. I'm just, yeah. um, it, are the things that I'm doing helping me in that plan that I had set up? Um, and if I am acting with kindness, if my content is being produced sustainably, if I'm growing a community of people that you know look at the world the way I do and and have, you know, I don't want an echo chamber per se, but I also, you know, there's, you have, you have guidelines. Um, then I believe that it will facilitate growth. Um, I have some terminology that I'm going to be using in regards to this whole business. Um, the front of the house and the back of the house, again, restaurant terms, but uh, I kind of uh, fit them into the content in a way. Um, the front of the house when we're talking about the front of the house, we're talking about the audience who may not know about the content, the brand, or the game I'm playing. Um, in the restaurant world, the front of the house would be your server staff, your bartenders, um, you know, the, the front-facing people, um, the customer-facing people, I guess. Uh, it's important to make a reasonable effort so that the front of the house feels included in my content. Uh, it's a focus of mine. From the beginning, uh, I want to make content that people who aren't, you know, just niche followers of a game or niche followers of me personally, uh, content that people can relate to so they feel more invited to potentially become a core part of the community, which I am terming the back of the house. Uh, the back of the house in a kitchen would be your dish pit, your chef, your line cooks, your you know, that anybody who's in the back in the kitchen part making the food, or in this case, the, the people who actively engage with content, whether it's just showing up to watch, uh, watching and leaving a comment, watching a bunch and following the channels, watching a bunch and subscribing to whatever. Um, it's the core community, um, and they have expectations being the core community that I need to make sure my content meets as well. So it's about being uh, approachable and uh, inclusive while also sticking to the pillars and sticking to the things that people like about my content and the things that I like making. Um, so <laughs> this is great. This is, um, this is the back of the house info. This is, we're going to go every month and be like, oh, look, this is the growth that we've had. So right now I've had one, I have one YouTube video up. It's unlisted. It'll be listed by the end of this month. Um, but it's, I have two subscribers, as you can see on the little thing here, two subscribers. That's awesome. Um, so, but it also includes, you'll see, 
Uh, YouTube is in the red. Twitch is in the purple. I don't have any Twitch followers or anything because I haven't really done anything on Twitch. But uh, YouTube will be cooking content. It'll be content creation info. I've been in this space for a long time. I'm not uh, like a guru or a guy you really need to listen to by any means. But I, I know stuff. I know where to find stuff. And I'm doing videos like this and talking about my journey so that you know, uh, other people might be able to gain something from that end. Uh, brand updates, which sort of follow in uh, with the content creation info, but it's stuff like this, um, going over the process of building this brand up, building this community up, um, studio building, the food truck stuff, you know, anything like that. Um, vlogs won't be as, uh, I, I don't vlog a lot other than stuff like this, but uh, we do have a lot of cool stuff planned. I, I do personally in the coming months and I think, you know, I want to be able to record them and share, you know, um, and also compelling gameplay content. So, uh, I will be playing video games on Twitch, but it, I'm not just like VOD dumping. If something cool is happening in a game and I want it say for YouTube, then it will go onto YouTube. Um, and then moving over to Twitch, it will be cooking content. I am going to be doing cooking live streams uh, that will have heavy viewer involvement, which I'm really pumped about. Um, gameplay content, uh, I'm going to be playing video games when I'm not cooking. That's kind of part of the thing. And then community hangouts. I don't have a ton of ideas as far as community hangouts go yet. Uh, I'm sort of uh, still like looking at op options and opportunities and seeing how that pans out. But um, I definitely want to be able to just spend time with people and just talk to people. I think that'll be enjoyable as well. I don't know how many more slides I actually have. Oh, yeah, yeah this is a filler. Uh, so this is the August roadmap. Um, so the roadmaps that I'm going to do are going to set uh, base expectations for three months out. So they will change. I'll post one every month. They will change the sequential months. So this will be the rest of August, September, and October. In September, I'll put one out. that will be September, October, November. And the things will change from what you saw in August sort of a living, breathing thing. So this is what I have so far for the roadmap. Uh, let me move me out of the way. Here we go. Um, so for August of 2022, I have to finish the branding update. So it originally started as VG Line Cook or VGLC, Video Game Line Cook. I thought that was neat. Uh, and now I realized I want to focus more on the tavern experience itself. Uh, and I am sort of like the guy who cooks the food there. So that we're doing a bunch of stuff with that. Um, this video, obviously, but also the video next Friday. I'm trying right now, my goal is right now, fingers, big fingers crossed, um, to produce a piece of content every Friday at the minimum for YouTube. So this video is coming out and then next week on Friday a video will come out. And then the studio final draft. I have a... Um, I have a studio rough draft right now that I will put on screen and post probably. Um, we're going to be building a kitchen studio in the basement. Uh, so it'll be really nice when it's all done, but it's a revision process, um, both on the like physical layout and also the tech of it. I'm learning stuff about tech all the time, adding in new things that I find out and that sort of stuff. Um, and so I hope to have that completely like locked in. This is what we're doing by the end of this month. Moving into September, five videos, once, one every Friday, bam, bam, bam. Uh, schedule for my socials. Um, I will be attempting to produce content on social media. That's kind of part of being a content creator. Um, and I think consistency is important there too. So I will have to nail that down. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Discord channel. I don't know how much we'll get use out of this, but I feel like uh, that'll be good for posting recipes, general chat, me blogging about this stuff, you know, stuff I don't make videos for if I just want to whatever, uh, and a place to talk to everybody. Uh, and then studio construction starts uh, sometime next month, probably toward the middle or end. But uh, as we purchase the things and they get here, then we'll start building and I'll be updating that left, right and center too. And then moving into October, uh, four videos, four Fridays. I will have a content schedule laid out as far as streams go, as far as uh, what videos come out when. I will have that planned out for, uh, we're probably gonna go ahead and stick with the three month chunks uh, for content schedules. We will have the studio construction done by October 21st because that will be our first live stream in the studio. We're gonna be doing some cooking. 
Uh, I'm pretty pumped about that. I believe that's the last slide. I'm not going to click again because I don't want to have to edit that out. So um, this video is getting kind of long in the tooth. I'm going to chop her down here later this afternoon and get it posted. Um, if you're watching right now, thanks for watching. If you're watching later uh, and this stuff sounds cool because, you know, uh, you're watching in November and we've got the studio up and you watch the first live stream or whatever, uh, feel free to leave a follow. Uh, I'm really excited to have you. If you uh, want to hang out, subscribe on YouTube. I don't, I think I have the Twitch set up yet as, as of this video. So uh, don't check in the description. It'll be down there. Follow the Twitch. Um, for this, for the first chunk, I know I said video game line cook. The first chunk of content I'm producing is based around Final Fantasy 14. And I picked a game. I have cookbooks for many games and I have ideas for many games. But the reason I'm focusing on one game right now is that it will make it easier for early growth, easier for cooking, because a lot of the recipes are very similar. Uh, as we get everything settled and squared away, uh, I will be incorporating other game recipes, other game play into this channel as we grow um, and making a menu of food that would go on the truck as we cook the food. That's That's a core part of it as well, so... Um, yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to cover here. Uh, I'm getting about 16 minutes. I'm going to try and chop it down to about nine, maybe. We'll see how that goes. Um, thanks for watching, and we will see you next Friday.